Hey everybody, how's it going? I decided I'm going to double check the valve timing before I try to start this thing and just make sure everything is kosher because I don't want to uh, have to redo work as, I, uh, as I'm kind of getting tired of working on this machine. I'd rather move on to my next project which is this guy right here. In any event, um, I'd like to get this timing set correctly, and I'm going to be utilizing this joining the dots instructions. Um, this is recommended to me by a couple different people, and it seems like a reasonable procedure. So we're going to try to follow it and see if it works right. First thing I did was I pulled everything apart, removed the spark plug, and made sure that I'm in the realm of top dead center. So let's, there we go. The pinion is pointed straight up. I think you can see right there. And we'll just do a quick sanity check to make sure that that's the case. Let's see. Yep, right there. I'll put the timing tool in there until I until I get a chance to do the next part of this. All right, so you can see it's right there. Just double check real quick, make sure that that's correct. Should see this guy move up and down. There we go down. There we go back up. And all right. Back to the center. Okay. Let's see. Yep, right on center. All right, great. Okie dokie. So, the first thing I'm going to do is put you in my little holder to make it a little bit easier. I don't have that third hand that I always needed. The next thing I'm going to do is set you down right here for just a second. Because we're going to start with the intake cam. And rather than pulling the head off, I've come up with this little guy here, which is a cheap OC clamp. And to keep it from damaging the, the top of the case, I'll just put a little bit of wood up there. So. Opened up. All right. Put it down there like so. Just gonna pull this rocker arm just up, or just enough to uh, give me some room to play. All right. Probably good enough. Now we can always pull it up more. Okay. You can see. Just sitting off there, just enough. All right. This thing we're gonna do. Let's get that first cam in there. All right. You see that? Okay. Okay. So the instructions say: ignore the numbers, just watch the dots, and it's easy. Rotate the crankshaft until the dot on the small pinion, this guy right here, is pointed to the inlet cam bush. All right. So let's roll it back a little bit. What do you think? And it's pointed to the inlet cam bush. Let's see. Move it over a little bit. So. All right, yeah, it looks pretty, pretty pointed to me. Let's, let's see. All right. Yeah, let's get a little cheater in there with that nut. All right, there we go. Looks pretty close. Okay. Here we go. Here's our input cam. 
All right, what's the next step? Offer the cam up with the top of the cam pointing to approximately 2 o'clock. Use whichever dot is now nearest the pinion dot. Push the cam in firmly and do not let it fall out when moving to the next stage. All right, so 2 o'clock, so that's about like so, I think. If the top of the cam lobe is right there. So, let's get it as close as we can. o'clock. Get it as nearest as possible. Okay. So that looks pretty pretty close. So I'm going to wave some of that grease off of there so you guys can see it. There we go. Got, got the two. Zoom in a little more so you can. All right. Okay. Let's move on to the exhaust side. I'm push that in all the way as it says. Let's take that clamp off of there so that I can move it over to the exhaust side. Plenty of clearance. Okay, next. Rotate the crankshaft clockwise, viewed from the timing side, just enough so it faces towards the exhaust cam bush. Alrighty, here we go. Exhaust cam bush. Let's see. Sorry, I should have moved you. Oh, we were doing our rotation. What do we think? Does that look pretty good? That looks pretty close. Okay, next step. Again, offer up the cam with the top of the cam pointing to approximately 10 o'clock. Use the dot that is now nearest the one on the pinion. Your cams are now correctly timed. Okie dokie. All right, here we go. Exhaust cam. Let's say 10 o'clock is about right there. Let's say so. So, you know, somewhere, somewhere right there. It's the top of that pin. That lobe. All right. Make sure this is right. Okay. So that's about as close as I can get it. Okay, and now release our clamp. And springs are in good shape, I'll tell you that. Okay, sitting back down on there, everything is good to go. Okay, let me know if I did that correctly. Here's one more look.
All right.